intro music. Yeah! Woohoo! Welcome back, everybody. Today, we're going to be talking about the Monavine, or as has been better called in my community, the Gilded Pickle. So, if you are curious how this thing works, Scopely gave one to each of the content creators. So, now we're going to talk about the Gilded Pickle, how you can use it, what it's good for, how the refinery works, all the things that you need to know about this ship. Now, at the time of making this video, the free to play path has not been announced. It actually will not be announced until next month. So October 2023, the free to play path to this ship will be announced. So if you're looking for that, sadly, don't have it. Maybe we'll get that added into the comment section later. But for those who are looking at it this month, if you so choose to go after it, or if you're preparing for months upcoming, we're going to talk about the Monavine today. But first, we got to give a shout out to a word from our sponsors, Amazon Coins. Thank you for supporting this video, this channel. You're amazing. Hey everybody, this video is sponsored by Amazon Coins in the Amazon App Store. And if you play Star Chef Fleet Command, which I know you do, because you're here, well then you're always looking to find a way to save. Like maybe you actually want to upgrade these buildings right here, or you just want to maybe get a new dock or unlock that Voyager. Well, to do so, let's go to Amazon and, and save some money. All you got to do is have an Android device or Huawei or download the Amazon Web Store. And then you can use the Amazon Coins to save. And it's not hard at all to do. All you gotta do is use the link in the description of my video down below so you can get you your own Amazon Coins. Purchase the coins through the App Store or through Amazon itself and then save on the games that you're already playing. That's simple to enjoy this game that we love so, so much. That's it. And it's available in so many countries including the united states so get your savings on enjoy amazon coins today so i guess the first thing we'll start with is the monovine loop itself which is not as convoluted as the voyager loop is but still has a couple notes that you might want to make so in the background i'll be doing this but we'll show you in a second there are texas class hostiles it'll be the primary thing that you're going to grind now interesting thing about these texas class hostiles is they are explorers versus your battleships, so that's expected, but they will lower any shield that you have if you choose to attack with them. So if you attack a ship while you have a shield, it will lower your shield as you can see here. Now, you can auto grind this by auto grinding the sentry, simply putting your monovine at the edge of space. And as you enter, simpler how it works in augment space, a bounty hunter style hostile will come after you called a Texas class sentry. Now, Real quick for crewing these, because I know there's going to be a lot of questions. Any variation of Strange New Worlds for battleships, if a variation for your Voyager crew, or simply running Pike, Moreau, Cath, or Pike, Moreau, Talon. Because even though these are Explorer hostiles, both the Sentry and the Texas hostile, the Dallas, Texas hostile, two kinetic weapons, one energy. So a little bit low to more on kinetic than most Explorers. A little FYI for those of you. But beyond this aspect, let's start talking about what else is involved in the loops. So you're going to hit the hostiles, and the hostiles are going to open up one refinery for you to run through, and that refinery will then give you credits to do solo armadas, as well as go after geodes and other items, and then you'll do the solo armadas, and then you'll finish the other refinery to complete the loop. Now, we're going to go through details of the refinery here in a second, but we wanted to cover that kind of first, get that out the way. So that's the basic run of the loop if you need a picture of that video it is in my discord but also you can just kind of screen grab it off of here next i want to take a look at the actual stats for the ship and the cost for the ship so i've got mine grinding real quick so we're just going to hit that manage button so you can see it real pretty but overall cost of this is this on your screen right here thanks to fcfc.space this is the raw cost as well as the firing pattern firing pattern can be important for you to know and learn depending on what you're trying to hit in the game but as far as what it ends up taking here are your total resource costs for the ship as you can see the uncommon and rare battleship parts we talk about that being a bottleneck this is going to require that in terms of actual uncommon materials four star five star it does need a bit but remember this ship goes from level 40 to level 60 so it is made to be a little bit pricey but compared to its peers it's not expensive at all compared to other four star ships like most specialty ships it is a cheaper upgrade though there will be limitations with that in terms of how strong it ends up being but at level 40 for those who can build it the monovine or the gilded pickle will come out probably about as strong as your auger is at any point in that process so just kind of a quick little fyi on that but this is the pickle 
I've got a tier one level five. But beyond the pickle tier one level five, let's take a look at the refinery options because there's going to be a big question for a lot of players as well. So you see, I did my pulls yesterday. That's okay because we have got images like this. So when you are going to go after these first two chests right here, you're going to be using this currency at the top, this neural net chip. There are two different types of chips, and I'll go ahead and put it on the screen. You have neural net chips and active net chips. So rare ones and common ones. The common ones are going to give you queen's favors. We'll talk about that in a second. Regal geodes, which is the research material needed, as well as ship parts for the monovine. And then the active one is simply going to give you queen's favors, geodes, and directives for the solo armadas. And after you do that one, that's going to open up the loop for the automated shipyard exchange. Now, it should be noted, you do have this. If you do extra grinding, then you can use the commons to get more queen's favors which you use to turn in for these back here. Now, these are going to be a mix of level-based and tier-based, but we'll talk about it in a second. First, let's talk about the automated shipyard. The automated shipyard is not completely filled out here, as you can see. We do have several tiers early on, but it's going to pay out materials for four-star and five-star. So you can look where I'm at, tier one, level 46 through 47. I'll take this off the screen. You see, I can get seven billion par steel in this particular chest for the queen's favor and in the active net chip i can get a little bit i'm sorry the automated shipyard i can get a little bit of these uncommons rares and epics depending on my level so the idea behind these two is that they're giving you sourcing for mats and resources through the pickle you can see 900 million tritanium now for those curious how much this side of things pays out the queen's favors here are the raw amounts again depending on the tier of your monovine and your actual level, which you'll get in dilithium, tritanium, etc. I'm personally going to hold on to some of these until my monovine gets tiered up a little bit because as you can see, the numbers go up quite a bit. Why waste them early on? The timers aren't super long. And as you can see, you can do three pulls at a time. So personally, I'm going to wait a little bit on those. Not going to jump straight into it. There's also another level to this. I want to take a look at the Armadas. I would say that for most players in the 40s, you're going to probably... I would argue easily handle some of these uh, real quick. I want to jump in this one live on stream. I'm going to cut it out because dang it, Rev needs his formation armadas. But if you want to do the Texas hostiles, I don't think we actually mentioned where they're at. That's apologies on my bad, but this has a lot to do. The Texas hostiles actually form a little cowboy hat right there. You see it? A little 10 gallon hat to the left of Fed Space. You're going to just find Seoul, go northwest, and you're going to find the hat of all those hostiles right here. So go into that, and then you're going to see these armadas. I would say that almost every player that is coming in 40 plus can pretty easily handle these automated shipyards because the monovine carries. Your early limitation is going to be warp range, how deep you can actually get for these. But at level 46, I easily handed a 46 automated shipyard a loss thanks to running my 46 ship, running my monovine at tier one, and then completing it with other ships. Now, again, I can show you those logs. These are not the strongest in the world. Now, we'll go to last night. See, I'm doing my Texas Class Century auto grinding. But we come all the way down. We should be able to find a log. You see, I did a lot of Texas classes last night. Here's our automated shipyard. So here's a 44. I think this is the, our first I get. You can see very little done to me. And the reason being is the Monophene has an absolutely amazing set of shots versus these. You can see... The pickle coming out roaring without even a critical 6.5. And I'm not even using Janeway on it. This is just out the gate, tier one, level five, or my level coming out punching hard. It has a fantastic bonus specifically against these types of hostiles. So take advantage of that. You see mine's at 56,000 and it scales up as the level of the Gilded Pickle scales up. So the premise of the Golden Pickle is to give you a new hostile that you can technically auto grind but you will need to have some level of active grind if you want to keep up with the common one versus the rare one which is a little bit weird to hear i know but in terms of loops it's not the most convoluted i guess that's a huge positive and you can relatively complete it easily throughout your dailies by simply leaving the monovine out overnight now you could be at war with somebody and maybe they come and clear you before you can finish it. And that is a risk that you run by trying to auto grind it. But the benefit is auto grinding won't drop your shields like actively grinding them does. Any type of active grinding on the Texas hostiles will drop your shields. But you do have the advantage of being an auto grinded. And you can see I spent a little bit of the night on grinding. I have 3000 neural nets, which is enough if you remember the sheet 
for me to pull my basic chest but it's not enough for me to also do the double special bonus chest that you saw needed 12,000. But I'm pretty easily in a single day getting enough to do my double chest pull every time around. If I want to be a try hard, I can go for the extra chest, which gives more of that queen currency. So I can use that on more titanium, dilithium, etc. But the neural is going to be big. And then every chest these hostile drops for the century is going to give you some of those neural nets as well. So keep those in mind. There should be some neural nets here right there there you go active neural net chips because of the sentries dropping them as their loot box but that's everything you basically need to know for the basics of the gilded pickle if you in you know enjoyed and liked whatever word my brain is trying to use right now and failing at like the video subscribe if you haven't already let me know what you think about the gilded pickle and if you're excited about the free to play path getting announced next month and we'll update with more information as we get it. As always, you're welcome to join my Discord if you want access to any of the charts, things, and etc. that you've seen on today's screen. Live long and plunder. Stay safe with the Space Cowboys. Deuces, that's me. Catch you on the next one. We out. An even better outro than the intro. For the empire and glory to your house.